Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Shiva Raya, and today I'm sitting in an old, decommissioned Royal Flying Doctor Service aeroplane in Broken Hill, which I think is pretty cool. But I thought I'd use it as an opportunity to talk to you about something that most people don't think of as as cool, which is cold sores. Now, cold sores are super annoying. Nobody wants to get them, particularly because it's on the face and it makes people feel self-conscious. But cold sores are super common, and it's typically caused by the herpes simplex 1 virus, which the World Health Organization estimates that about two-thirds of the world's population actually has. It is less commonly caused by the herpes simplex 2 virus, which about 13% of the world's population has. Now, once a person gets one of those viruses, you can't quite get rid of it. Of course, the cold sore goes away, but the virus remains dormant in the nerve cells of the skin in that area. The key with cold sores is that typically the first infection is the worst one and the subsequent ones are not so bad, but people can get prodromal symptoms such as tingling, uh, burning, itching, pain in that region before they get the outbreak of blisters and ulcers. And the key is to use antiviral medication at that early stage before the outbreak occurs and that can limit how long the cold sore runs for and how severe it is. So there are certain stresses that people may need to also consider that may cause a cold sore to occur and typically this is excessive sun exposure, so sunburn, if people get eczema or dermatitis in that area, uh, if they've been experiencing a lot of stress recently, if they're a bit run down from excessive partying with alcohol and drugs, and of course if are, they have an, an immune condition, a medical condition that sort of depresses the immune system. Uh, these are things that can precipitate an outbreak. So as I mentioned before, the key is to get onto antiviral medication as soon as possible, and you can buy this over the counter. You can get ointments um, or creams, or you can get tablets. And I, my personal recommendation is that people get the tablets. I think they're more effective, but I would recommend that you go and see your GP and get a private prescription for the antiviral tablets so that you can use them as and when you need. And they're actually a lot cheaper if you get it through prescription because you can get a larger amount for a much cheaper amount. So it's much better value. If you're getting recurrent episodes that are particularly bothersome, you can discuss going on suppressive treatment with your general practitioner with a private prescription. That's where you take a tablet regularly. Usually that's not necessary, but that, that's a discussion that you can have with them. And if you need any more information, please go see a doctor.